what we do is basically go out to um, high schools and give out a uh, health class uh, based on the curriculum, Be Proud, Be Responsible, with teachers youth about sexual health and um, STIs, HIV, AIDS, and also pregnancy and their options with birth control. Let's try to let you that are, know that there are youth friendly places out there. They also provide a lot of, you know, good communication skills with youths in order to make them feel more comfortable to get tested uh -huh. and want to be able to get tested again. You know, lack of structure at home, um, a lot of the parents really never had somebody come to them and talk to them and explain to them about their own bodies and their own sexuality and just to point out the avenues that they can go down in order to find the help that they may have needed. A lot of their parents went through this journey of growing up alone so there's a lack of structure in school and the schools aren't tapping into the community resources such as Leaving Our Legacy and the other organizations which have a youth focus to come in there and supplement some of that social structure that these young people are lacking because the teachers are, they really have to focus on that curriculum, but they aren't really focusing on building the whole student as a person and giving them a comprehensive education that's going to prepare them to navigate through life. And often these young people have no one to turn to. So what we find is that when they see us as young people coming in with the correct information, they're a lot more receptive to that. Uh, I think it's a lack of awareness. I think it's um, that youth don't know what's going on. I think they just live in the moment and they don't think about the repercussions. Um, I think that um, adults look at sex, they look down at sexual health, so they really, they don't want to think about it, they don't want to talk about it, so I think that's also a big problem. There also needs to have um, like a relationship builder for all the teachers to be aware that Yes, this is a health curriculum that's going to improve the quality of how we teach our youth about health and sexuality, but there also has to be a point where the teachers come together and they're like, you know what, we're here to also build a relationship with each and every one of our students because mm -hmm. without that relationship connection, you won't have a student that's open up to you, that's willing to conversate with you. You know, sex is around you everywhere. Movies, you know, it's just all around you and like I think that adults like don't see that we're it's a lot of peer pressure it's mm -hmm. like kids every day they face peer pressure going from school and coming from school right and you know it's like you might know what's going on like inside of your house but once you know they leave and go to school it's a whole nother world right. by showing these young people that you can come from the same environment the same surround the same background and still have your own personal perception. You could think for yourself. You don't necessarily have to be what society tells you. We take that education and we impart it in other young people to therefore create this culture of change where it's cool to know about your sexual health. It's cool to be optimistic and have a plan for your future. And it's really cool to be able to have a conversation with not only your significant other, but with your parents about what's mm -hmm. going on with you. Mm -hmm. It's about building communities. Um, a lot of what we see is so focused on individual achievement and individual success. And we need to really focus more on a community and building one another up. The decisions you make today affect the way you live tomorrow. And to say what Najla said, a lot of young people are like living in the moment. So we have to like show them the consequences to their actions and consequences all often has negative connotations but we need to show them that there can be positive consequences to the actions when you do make the right choices and the right decisions.